Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Thrones of Britannia siege battle for you today. And in today's battle we are showing off the Radius mod, which has some interesting new factions in it. So we've got, uh, we've got Bebon Burr here, uh, which is like where Uhtred of Bebon Burr is from, so if you've watched Last Kingdom. This is kind of like, sort of his faction, but it's really not, because he doesn't control Bebon Burr in the, in the uh, series. Uh, definitely go and check that out. Then we have, um, this is Powys, which is like another Welsh faction. This is pretty cool. And they've got basically the same units, I'm pretty sure. There's some, uh, I think these are elite longbowmen are new. Um, I think these Tolulu sword guard are new. I'm not sure. They might be new, actually. A new, like, elite sword unit. Um, elite swords might be new as well. But, oh my gosh, these are really, uh, <laughs> really chevroned up. Wow. But then we also have, um, Powys here. So we have, uh... Not Powys. Uh, we just have Powys. This is a uh, Fort True. This is a Scottish faction. Um, these guys look pretty awesome. Alban Elite Swordsmen. They're definitely new. They like look a bit like druids a little bit. Oh my gosh, that is a very bright yellow though. I'm not really a fan of that. But um, yeah, these guys look okay. Um, what else have we got here? They're making a nice solid line here. The Armored Shiltron. I can't actually remember if half of these units are true, uh, are, like modded or not. Like these guys, like. The Scottish factions especially, I've never really played in Scotland. Or any of them. Alban Heavy Warriors, uh, these guys look the awesome. Approaches. The enemy approaches though. Oh, okay. Over here. Alright, yeah, so we've got Warlords Champions, we've got Danelaw Royal Spearmen, very nice. But yeah, I mean, this is a very nice settlement. Uh, gonna be very hard to take. Um, but yes, I do apologise for not putting out a video yesterday. I was in the middle of moving uh, back home. I have uh, left my uni accommodation and I'm now home uh, to free food and uh, the comforts of home, I guess. You could put it like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the reason why I may put out a second video today. Um, it may uh, be on Friday so, uh, to make up for the missing one on Wednesday. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying all the content currently. If you are, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and uh, comment to show your support. And also thank you massively for the uh, 1,400 subs that we're now at. We've managed to get over the mark on Wednesday, I think it was. So uh, thank you all very much for all the support. Let's keep it up, guys. Let's try and hit that 1,500 now, I guess. Just keep going, and we'll see how far we can get. Okay, I can see some archers firing. Oh, no, that might be the archer tower as... We have uh, Powys taking the walls over here. No surprising here. Losing a few men, but nothing too major. But apparently this has a very nice last stand, so it's definitely worth watching out to the end. I mean, it does look like the band's power is uh, not really in favour of the um, defender at all. But he does actually have the numbers. But just not the, uh, possibly the, the eliteness. Like, they have a lot of chevrons of these attackers. Be interesting to see what happens. I mean, they've got some cavalry here. This royal cavalry. They might want to get this outside the walls to do some actual uh, fighting. But, I mean, look at this. This is, like, an insane, like, tier defense we've got going on here. There's, like, two units here to start with. Alban heavy warriors. And then we've got some more. Uh, oh, we've got Alban noble warriors at this point. Okay, what are these guys the like? The yeah, I don't care if they capture the gate. We're looking at noble warriors right now. These guys are pretty damn awesome. And then we've got uh, Highland sharpshooters. We've got foot stuff all the way back here. Lowland crossbows. Oh, nice. King's blades. Yeah, I don't know if they really add units. They certainly add factions, but I don't know if they really added units. I just I don't play, like, Wales or Scotland. I mean, Bebe and Burr, I certainly know, like, like their fa units are pretty much just the same ones. Yarl's Chosen Swords, though. They might be new. They might be new, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, they could be new, actually. But yeah, so I mean, hopefully we get some fighting soon. I'm just going to speed it up while we're waiting. See if Powys and uh, Bebben Bo actually make some moves soon. Because I mean, to be honest, Fort True uh, is not like got a, a strong defense position. Like you can get through here quite easily. You can get through here quite easily. Um, there's some a lot of holes in their defense. They need to stretch this line out a lot more. Um... And mate, I don't know, and he's got, oh, this is another great slip there, look at where the archers are, all these highland sharpshooters all the way up here, they're really going to do some damage, but um, yeah, they're taking their time, really, really are taking their time and moving in, it's not really worth cutting, I don't think it's uh, going to need a cut, but let's just see what happens, 
the cavalry royalty. Yeah, these guys are definitely already in game. Powers just looks like uh, Gwyn just redone. I mean, these sword guard I think are, are by far and away definitely new. This is definitely a new unit um, because none of the Welsh factions have strong uh, swords. They have like mailed swords, I think, is their best. So I think there's a, these Welsh elite swordsmen are also new um, because they have yeah they have like some pretty meh swords and have really good spears. And here we go. I think we're going to see a clash over here. Oh, no. We've got the cavalry coming up. I kind of thought the cavalry might have gone in for that. Sword Herdman. Um, I don't know if that would have been actually okay to go for. Uh, cavalry's not great against infantry and certainly not when it's going to form a shield wall like this. Um, well, you, you imagine they might have formed a shield wall. They're actually making their uh, flank very, very vulnerable to our uh, arrows. But they're capturing it, but they've not got anything really near... Oh, they've got Danelaw Riders that might need to get in, but they've not got anything that desperately needs to get in. They're really scouring their army all over the place. Are they really searching for... Um, for troops? Because they're right here. You can see they're just camped up here, I think. The enemy have captured the gate. And there we go, the gate's been captured. Uh, they actually might have lost more men to them being captured, I'm not sure. But I'll just start marching up now. Just go. Just go. But we'll fast forward a little bit more. Um, see whether anyone makes a move. And while they're doing that, just check this out. Check these beautiful boys out. Just keeping an eye because I don't want to miss the first clash of infantry. Or just first clash of anything at this point. The settlement's burning, apparently. Uh, that's no surprise because they've been let into the city so far. Like, I don't know this, for instance. Not really sure why this was a good decision. Definitely take that. Uh, cap point, really good idea. Oh, I guess Bebenber's scouring his army around so he can let some units go off to go and burn stuff. That's a smart idea, if that is the reason why, because that does damage morale. That would help. I mean, they already don't need the help. But, like, certainly capturing this tower, letting his Welsh noble cavalry get hit, it's a bit of a silly idea. Like this cavalry here, it's really sucky. It should have gone outside earlier on. Gone outside and actually, you could still go outside possibly, but there's not much of the enemy left outside the walls. bobo has got a few units. I think the Welsh are almost all inside now. Yeah, Powys. Are anyone actually going to attack yet? I am sorry. Here we go. This is this might be it. They get they're just edging forward. Just do some attacks, please. <laughs> They're just quite happy to burn the city down by the looks of it. I mean, it's not a bad idea, but at this point, I don't know what you're waiting on. You're just waiting on more troops to come inside. You can do that while you're attacking. No one's wanting to be the first to attack this awful defense that they've got. Well, it's not awful, but it's a really strong defense. This is really nice as well now. Pulling back to this choke, these choke points, allowing your archers to shoot across both sides will be devastating. But you just got to go in. I think you just got to go in. And that's probably why I lose so many battles. Oh, here we go. What were they waiting on? They were waiting on artillery, which is now firing down on stuff. We have artillery fire coming in. Here we go. Oh, that was a good one. Yep. Yeah. We've got some... Making more graves around the graveyard here. The artillery is doing just that. And it's now they're going to try and go with the Royal Cavalry and go for it. You thought that... Didn't you? Yeah, you thought about it, didn't you, uh, for true? He thought about that play, and not a bad idea. Oh, we've got. I thought for some reason because I keep looking at these guys, and like the yellow and the uh, red is really conflicting me which side Powers is on. These armor shield on are just getting hit to hell. But I mean, I would have kept them there because now he's pushing up. Like you made the wrong mistake. You got to push back up, push back up with a shield on, form a shield wall. Powers really needs to move on. He needs to just get moving and just get into this choke point. Like, they've abandoned it. You can get around. Also, your swords against shields. You should win. Uh, swords, swords against spears. You should win that. Oh, here we go. Here's going to be the first clash of infantry. We've got some Danelaw male swords against veteran spears. Very nice. 
Um, like I said, swords should beat spears, so it should be okay. They will be also beat shields. <laughs> um, that was a bit silly of me to say, but they, they do beat uh, shield biters here. Okay, against veteran Alban spears. And it looks like we've got another unit in here. Or are they just the same thing? They might just be the same thing. Yeah. Veteran. They had like a really cool square shield. I kind of like that. I'm all about that square shield. Don't see it enough in uh, Thrones. But we've got more ha mailed uh, herdmen in here, or just sword herdmen, in fact, coming in. Um, Powis has also engaged on this holy sending his elite swords in. I'm sure these guys are just winning. Um, yeah, they're losing decisively to the armor shield tron. No surprise. It's like I said, spears just are not going to beat these swords, especially since so they're so leveled up. Like these guys are on triple gold chevron. Um, it's a bit unfair, I will admit, on them, but these are certainly key units to take out. Um, over here, I just commit. You just got. You, you can sneak around here. If this armor shield on could certainly be sneak around. Oh, but warriors already losing. Okay, of course, yeah, it would be. Um, so there you go. So we have a unit of um, four true spears breaking already. These armor shield on just had enough. Cut them down, men. Don't let the Scots get away. Oh, that was a poor man just dying there. Poor innocent man. Over here, I start, I start committing. Like now, for instance, like don't let this, don't let this armor shield from unit get out of here. They're gonna form another line or something. This unit, like, what's happening here? It's an interesting defense. Oh, they're gonna form, reform. Not a bad idea. Uh, yeah, they got nothing down there. Like, I don't know why the Welsh should just go around here. They have units. They could just go around here and surra uh, surround most of these units. Um, on this side, Bowman Burr's just about to break these guys. He seems to take a lot more casualties. For Uhtred! Which one? I mean, yeah, like every single <laughs> every single king of Northumbria or king of Bowman Burr named Uhtred, apparently, according to Last Kingdom. Look at this guy with his wolf uh, oh, It's actually a bear. I think it might be a bear. This man's killed a bear. That's how you get it. That's clearly how it works. If you kill the bear, you get aware it's fur on your head. And now they're going into the next line with some more armored Shieldron. Oh no, these aren't armored. They're uh, these are axe units. Alban Heavy Warriors. I expect to hear angry bagpipes playing since we're, in, we're fighting the Scottish here. Angry bagpipes scaring the enemy off. Minus 10 morale instantly. If that's not in it, then uh, disappointed. Oh, we've got Bevenber though here firing his chosen archers. Into the rear of the... Oh, that's very nice, actually. Right into the rear of these Alban veteran spearmen. Oh, that is going to be devastating. I mean, these guys here are champs, though. They're just taking the arrows on like absolute champs. Like that guy got one straight in his back. He doesn't mind. There he is, the, the, the bear man again. Can he get a kill? Get a kill. Oh, there's two bearmen. There's three bearmen. There's a lot of bearmen. I thought it was like just a banner, but uh, the bear men, they're getting a lot of kills. Why aren't, why isn't that just a, a unit on its own, bear men? <laughs> uh, okay, so, strangely, the cavalry 4 4 truce has been sent in. If I was them, I would have possibly waited until like this broke or this broke, and then like oh, this one here, which is just about to break. Send the cavalry in here, surround them, surround these shield bodies. We'll do a lot more damage. Um, it's the only way you're really going to be able to use these guys now. What happened here, I have no idea, but these Armored Shieldtron and Alban Axe, uh, Axemen have been caught well and truly out. This is a, a poor decision by Fortrue. Should have just fall back here, made sort of that little gap out. you just got to be choke pointy all the way, unfortunately, until you can slow these guys down long enough. But I mean, right now, they're just getting absolutely mown down. I don't even think Powers has lost, lost that many men. Yeah, he's not... He's lost uh, a few, but not many. Um, but he's not got the biggest army in the world. Actually, uh, yeah, he's not got the biggest army in the world, will I say, Powis. Bevan has got, a, I'd say, a much bigger army. Or maybe Bevan Burr's just not lost as much. He's been routed here, though, these sword herdmen. Heavy axe. This is a good choke point, though, he's holding here. It's a bloody one. 
So yeah, you did at least what I uh, recommended. Charge into the rear of, uh, I think, this unit was flanking around. The cavalry needs to get out of there, though. It's going to die in combat. Just like an Attila, cavalry does not do well in combat in Thrones. Oh, look at them being shoved around. Shove them around. Get them out there. Get the cavalrymen out of there. Oh, they sent their own cavalry in. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, you need to be using as many archers as possible. Um, I think they try. I think Bevenberg is trying to get his cavalry in behind to try and either get out these guys. Oh, black blades! Never seen these guys before. Are they, do they actually have black blades? Real question. Going away from the battle, but I want to see. Do they actually have black blades? That is a confirmation. I'd say they'd have black blades. They look really cool though, um, and they're falling back. They're not going to hold this choke point any longer. Uh, I guess. Fall back to maybe like here. I would fall back to here. Because Powis is just now about to surround. So uh, the Welsh are coming to help the Northumbrians. It's an interesting it's an interesting alliance. The Northumbrians and the Welsh are working together to kill the Scots. As long as you're killing Scots, who 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 cares? What the alliance is. No, I'm joking. To all those Scottish people, we love you. Truly. Just not when you're raiding our lands, like you did all those hundreds of years ago. And the Welsh. In fairness, the Welsh did it just as much, so... But then we, I'm pretty sure we probably raided back as well. To retake the stuff that you took from us. Uh, and, yeah. What a horrible, what a horrible time to live on, like, the border of, like, Wales or Scotland. Just, like, constantly, like, a raiding war. But looking at the balance of power, it's not looking good so far. Um, that... That advantage is massively gone. We've got Welsh elite uh, swords here. Saying that we've got veteran uh, axemen. We've got Tululu uh, sword guard. We've got elite longbows back here. Form shield wall with these guys. If you form shield wall, you do a lot better. Just as I say that, they form shield wall. We have the elite swordsmen ready now. Uh, these units are starting to break over here. The archers, look at these guys, they're just moving up, ready to shoot onto the next line of troops. It's insane, like, how far they can fire. Uh, they're trying to retreat. That's a bold, a bold play. I'll leave the cavalry in at this point to die. Get these black blades certainly out there. but na And get them over here, they need to get on this side. Like, this, this black blade unit on its own is going to not hold. It's an interesting, yeah, it's trying to get there, I think. It's desperately trying to get up there, but Bevenberg's not going to allow it to happen. He's got some Danelaw Huskiles and they're coming up. Look at them. Angry men in the background. Oh, cavalry sacrificing itself. Yes. That's the sort of sacrifices we'd like to see on the channel. Sacrificing itself to get this black blade back. And the Welsh went in as well. They're all just going to try and take out this tiny unit of Royal Cavalry. That one man. And now the ascent of this huge, these huge slopes begins. This is uh, going to be nasty. I've got a nice little bridge here. This is uh, very nice. I think I actually did this map. One of my earliest Thrones uh, sieges. Ages ago. Many, many moons ago. They're, they're looking the wrong way. I'd just like to say that. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty nasty map to attack. I mean, but I think... Looking at the balance of power, you'd have to say that the uh, attackers have it. But these black blades are falling back again. They're just going to... Okay, no, they're just turning around. Okay. I charge them in, get the sword charge. But yeah, that's uh I'm not quite sure what these guys are doing. What is the player doing? Interesting. Um but Yeah, these black bays are probably not gonna do so well. They're getting surrounded already. These poor Scottish factions, they don't do well in thrones, do they? They have a really rough time. I'll certainly have to check out this radius mod more. I'll have to have, a, have to give it a look and see what the, the units are like. See if there's any interesting factions. Apparently, Powis is quite good. Uh, it certainly makes the Welsh very strong, but... I don't know. I think it's just that Powis has been very lucky in having to only fight a 2v1. And they've got a lot more chevrons. I think Powis is probably... Probably okay, but it's not overpowered. I think giving the Welsh too many swords is a bad decision by Radius. 
Well, it's the whole point of these uh, of the uh, Total War is that they have limitations to some of their rosters. Like they've got really good spears and uh, archers, but they've not got really good swords because they're a defensive faction. Well, I don't know what's I don't know what the Scottish faction's strength is. Maybe, maybe axes. I don't think so. I think maybe against spears. The swords are okay, but they get outmatched by quite a lot of the Saxon swords. Bevan Burr slowly just trying to get his way up here. How's uh, Powers doing on the other side? Oh, he's... Wow, Powers has got uh, Four True on the run. Really has. Um, wow, we're already at the final defense. Like, and Four True's really not got much left. He's got a lot of Kingsblades over here. Like, he's going hard against Bevan Burr. He might knock Bevan Burr out. Because Bevan Burr's got very little left. He's got Berserkers getting ready. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to this. These Berserkers have got to go in. Flank these men. Powers is having to send troops over here. He's got 22 mere Welshmen. Good unit to focus down there with archers. Here we go. Berserkers coming in. Going to flank ground. They're going to go mad here. Here they go. Mad and in they go. Chopping away. At I always find it funny they just wave their shields in the air. It's not helping anyone. Oh, but now they're getting the rear shots. And they're going to get absolutely focused down by those archers on top of the hill. I imagine they're the lowland crossbows. Yeah, they're actually going to beat this power, small unit of power here. They're cutting them down, just so worn out and dead. Berserkers, though, yeah, losing decisively. They might actually hold here. Uh, what is the Highland Sharpshooters? Even better than the crossbows. This side, they might not hold so much. They need to support this side. They're actually, it's, the, it's holding even. But... They need to get some more troops up here. Support this soon. Like in the longevity, they won't hold this. And they're gonna win on the far on the other side of this rock on the other side of this rock face. They're gonna win. Um like you can see in the distance, Bevenberg's having to send up more troops. Betrayal does deserve death. I agree, man, that's just talking for some random reason. Okay, what's he setting up more now? Some mailed swords. He's gonna do the same thing again. Surround. Now if I was, uh, now I'd start shooting this one if I was the sharpshooters. Or send the cavalry and slow them down. But here we go. Dane, Lord Mail, that swordsman. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Hold here. So nothing can uh, flank around. Oh, no, you just hold there. You're doing great. And because here comes some uh, armored swords of some sort. Oh, these are the black blades. They're not black blades, are they? No, uh, no worries. I was right. I don't know who would win that, actually. I kind of want to say... Actually, it might be an even fight for once. Combat even. Yeah, losing slightly, only slightly now, though. Only just. I wonder if that's just because of archer fire. These nobles warriors should be mailed swordsmen. They are noble for a reason. Oh, arrows just plunging into this ranks. It's horrendous. Okay, how's Powers doing, then? I'm sure Powers is like already onto the final, final assault. It really is. He's got these elite longbows. Still got ammo, which is the most insane thing. He's got another two back here. Like he's just oh, these crossbows though are on the wall here, just getting absolutely devastated. Are they even firing? I can't tell. They don't have a clean line of sight, so that's probably why they're not firing. Oh jeez, yeah. That's nasty. It really is. He's got Alvin Elite Swords though ready here in Shield Wall. I'd fall these two back as well. Fall these guys back and get more Shield Walls getting ready. These Mustard Men. I actually don't care if these men die. They're, all, they're Mustard Hoods. Not a fan of. Got Royal Bodyguard here. More Cavalry. Is this... Oh yes it is. Look at this angle with the crossbows. This is insane. Can't see it there. There. That's... Are these crossbows firing all the way down there? No wonder they're holding here so well. They want to hold this choke point for as long as possible. This is a really good choke point to hold. And try and hold here as well so they can't flank around. They could hold here for ages with the crossbow support as long as they have ammo. Like they're going to break this male swordsman. They move on to this one. Broken. Bevenber, I don't know if he's going to run out of troops. because he's Oh, he's got a archers left. He might run out of uh, melee infantry soon. He's only got archers left. 
Really? He's got a few uh, Anglian Raiders. I don't know why the music's going in and out, but who cares? It's too epic a fight to care about the music. But we have Anglian Raiders here. Um, I've never seen that. Actually, I might have seen them before. They might just be a lower tier unit, and I've just never used them or cared to look at them. Probably are, in it? Just Pope does not know enough about Thrones rosters to uh, be able to comment on what is in this and what's not. Um, but we'll see what's going on here. Got Powis now engaging um, on these Alban Elite Warriors. Let's see what happens. I, I'd say that these swords are going to lose. But we'll see what happens. Let's see. Let's see who holds. Who holds the line for the longest? I'm going to say it's going to be... Uh, I think the Welsh have got this. These, they've, they've not proven yet of these elite swords that they can hold a choke point. So why are they going to hold this choke point now? Just inches closer to their... Uh, capture main capture point and to be honest I don't care yeah die your horrible mustard hood get rid of it get rid of it but these are uh, Tolulu guard are really nice oh but he's been cut down and killed uh, okay so we are back and uh, I've done a bit obviously cut out um, like what happens like there's a bit of a a little bit of buffering, a little bit of, uh, like, I don't know, the music was just not being, uh, playing properly, we'll put it like that. And, uh, it was a bit, it was annoying me a little bit, and it didn't really matter, but more the buffering was the issue. But we are back, everything seems to be fine now. Um, I do apologise if there's still a bit in there, um, but yeah, I kind of cut back to where we were before. And, uh, yeah, so it looks like the Royal Huskars are nearly through, and, uh, they've got these black blades just to... Chop up. They're not Royal Huskars, are they? They're Danelaw Huskars. No Royal Huskars here. These are just mere Danelaw ones. Um, we've also got some Berserkers here by the looks of it. Or maybe some Shield Biters, I think, by the size of the unit. Oh, Berserkers? No. Berserkers at 90. Jeez. I feel sorry for the uh, defenders. No wonder they're having a tough time. But, I mean, Bedenburg is nearly gone, actually. I think it's Bedenburg. It might be better, better Borg. I don't know. I thought it was be They're basically Bedenburg to me. Inside in my heart, they're Bebenber. Bedeborg. I don't know. If I've, if I've been naming it wrong, I do apologise. But hey. Um, Welsh Elite Swords. Oh, just about to break through this line here. These are Alban Elite Swords. There's no match. They've got so, some decent chevrons on them, though. But at what cost? Look at all these mustard men. They're back. The mustard men. In greater numbers than ever before. Yeah, I'm sure that there's been a lot of units that have perished for the Scots. They have lost a heck of a lot of men. They're just like zoom in there. Look at the carnage going on. So much action. Such a huge line. Definitely would have been better holding this small choke point here. What have they got left over here? This is it. This is all they committed here. Wow. Um, I'd have sent some stuff back over on this other side. But actually... Betterborg's nearly through as well. It's going to come down to this. I mean, I'm going to say the attackers have probably got it. It was always going to be a tough one. But there you go. More units breaking. Dane Law Huskar's about to go. It's going to be a tough one. There you go. They break those uh, other Dane Law Huskars. And they can reform this line that they've got going on here. I think it was no longer in their favor a long time ago. Uh, man talking over the top. But there you go. And there you go, clashing in. Swords going wild. They should probably take out these uh, berserkers. I'm pretty sure they will. It's more the charge they do. There's a bit of a brave decision. Especially when they've got units back here that are uh, like could flank around. These shield biters are mainly... The shield biters have a lot of bear men. That's where I'm seeing these bear men then. The shield biters. But yeah, he's sending in... What is he sending in? Yeah, he's sending his Berserkers in first. Oh, the General's now in combat, though. If they could take out the General, though, for uh, Bedderborg, then that could be huge. That might cause a bit of a chain route. But they're just going to flank on round. Don't mind us. Two tiny little units. Two tiny little units to hold the flank. Ooh. 
But they're getting focused down, so I'd, uh, I'd move in. Oh, what's he got? He's got all these crossbows here. Yeah, no surprise. Just desperately trying to shoot. Losing slightly. This is huge. Um, if we can get those King's Blades around, he can surround this unit. I'd have sent the archers in. The archers are chosen uh, chosen archers. They're pretty good. Probably be okay in combat. Look at this. This tiny little unit here of Sword Herdman trying to hold back this all this. But this could be huge if we can get this general. I think he's a warlord champion. But he did break that unit there. Another volley coming in. Oh no, they're firing volleys now. The archers are firing into the back of this lot, I presume. Yeah, like, oh yeah, into the back of these guys, the king's blades here. That's a good idea as well. So they're trading off. I mean, I think the better trader is getting this general. Um, but this side, they're just broken against each other so well. Powis on this side, though, has been uh, absolutely devastating. He's got so many men left. And he's got a capital left. Jeez. These tiny little units here. Alvin Elite Swords trying to hold them back. Not going to happen. Oh, nicely through the gap that's already made. Oh. Those two just don't care. They've been hit. If they've been hit. The Cabot's made a sponge. Firing sponge balls of death. But what? There's no point wasting time. They've got so many troops left. They've got these uh, Tolulu. Tolulu. Uh, Sorgat? I don't know. I definitely can't pronounce. It's Welsh. Who can pronounce Welsh? Apart from the Welsh. Yeah, just send in the guards, send in uh, the elite swords. You'll break these guys instantly. They may have held back one wave, but they won't hold back another. But yeah, there they go. They just don't even care. They're just going to get through. That's a whole other unit. Oh, it's 20 men. Uh, yeah, big deal. They've got surrounded them. Look, just like that, they route them. Route both. What was the, There was no need to send up the artillery. they got black blades over here ready to hold. Back on this side, they- Oh, they got the general! They broke the general! Is he dead? No, I don't think he's dead, he's just... Oh, that's huge! Bedderborg's now basically out. He's got his artillery left, and he's got archers, and that's it. So I'd be... I'd get the cavalry, the royal guard, uh, bodyguard, just go down and route all these guys. That's huge! And I'll last stand against Powis. Uh, which has got far too much. Not quite sure how he's got so much left. Jeez. And he's that worried about being attacked in the rear. He's got a rear guard. Oh dear. This is one paranoid Welshman. But here he comes. He's into the final the final little uh, encampment at the top of this hill. This isn't really nice. I mean, uh, um, it's a shame that um, uh, Fort True didn't need a hold here at this like nice little, this huge bridge. Been really nice to look at, but I mean, yeah, look at that. That's a cool bridge they've made there. How would you make that? How would you start? But yeah, they're going to quickly rush to try and get around this flank. That's not a bad idea, as uh, the uh, as Powis. But I mean, those crossbows might need to just get set up and ready because that cavalry's coming in. Send the Welsh nobles around. Just carry on, just pushing into his black blades. Here he comes. Oh, they're elite melee cav. Oh, jeez, wow. Yeah, they're not going to have fun here. They're pulling back their crossbows. They're just going to capture the point, which again is more graveyards. So many graveyards in this place. Here we go. What's he going to do? He's got to do something with his cavalry. He's got to go and take out that cross those crossbows or something. Or just go in for a rear charge. Like those black blades are happy to retreat, which is a bit strange. I would have held that choke point. It's not a bad choke point to hold. And the cavalry's made the mistake of going inside your enemy lines. Better Borg just being routed over here by the cavalry. That's good to see. Um, but he is getting focused down, in fairness, by uh, all of this arch, all these archers here. Let's get another volley off quickly before he comes onto us. Quickly! How many more can you kill? Oh! Brutal. Yeah, the archers are, archers are actually going to win that fight. Yeah, the Royal Cavalry needs to do another charge. Charge into them. But yeah, better Borg. Just running out of the way it came in. These Black Blades are recapturing the point. And now they're going to go back to where they came from. Back into that choke point by the looks of it. 
Just don't even bother with the cavalry. The cavalry's just kind of there. It's a thing. The uh, general's under the attack again. What's he done? Oh, he's falling back. Probably realizes he's going to need that cavalry to deal with the uh, rampant Welsh cavalry. Because he's got none of his own. Powis is uh, moving up slowly. Very slowly. Here he comes. Elite Longbow's going to be next up. We've got Welsh Elite Swords. They look like they're going to be the first in. Basically unscathed, these units. Yeah, these units are unscathed. Jeez. Yeah, poor old Fort True. He's going to have a rough time holding back these guys. Done a good job against Betterborg. Took one out. Couldn't take the second out. And here we go. A clash of infantry. Oh, that's very smart. Goes onto the walls of uh, this palace and he's going to flank around. A really good tactic. I hope if they had archers, they could focus these guys down. There he goes. He's just going to flank on round. It's such a pain. I hate it when I see this. It's a good tactic, though. It's just frustrating. Just like, oh, what have I got to do? Oh my gosh, they're already inside. What happened for True? What happened? Where was the line of defense? I thought they had another unit here. They got crossbows ready. They're just focusing these guys down. And here we go. The final defense in the graveyard. Oh no, the general's dead. What did he, who did he die to? I seriously thought he was getting shot by those archers there. Did he just... Oh, did he die to these archers? He did. The Dane... So Betterborg returns the favor. Killing the general of uh, Fortru after his... After Fortru killing his own general. Well... I think he deserves that. It's called karma. I know, it's just well played. Well played. It's nothing to do with karma at all. Just well played. And we'll see how... I mean, that's probably going to be it. I think that's probably going to be it. Because now the general's gone. For true. Already having a massive disadvantage. is uh, just not going to have the troops or the morale to do it. And these king's blades are uh, winded, shaken. Lost the general and their army. They're going to get surrounded. They're actually winning here, though. That's cool. These King's Blades are on a lot of chevrons as well. They're fighting a retinue axe warrior. That's why veteran axe unit. Can't really see of all the bushes that are going on. But let's have a look. Final charge over here. By the church. Defend the church. Being so Christian and holy. I, I see the Scots, actually, at this point. I'm pretty sure they're Christian. And there we go, a Pyrrhic victory. Um, I'm pretty sure... Um, that wasn't a Pyrrhic victory, was it, to uh, For True, was it? Surely not. I don't know. Apparently, no, it must have been a Pyrrhic victory to... Uh, Betterborg and um, Powis. I was just thinking, how the heck was that? They just came up with their emblem. I was so confused. But, um... Okay, if I click, keep clicking on it, that, that's also very strange. But hey, but there are the end results. Um, if You can have a look at them if you'd like to. Um, if you have enjoyed, guys, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment. And until next time, I will see you guys 